on a typical cold wet winters Melbourne day I'm off to see my AFL team the Richmond Tigers take on Port Adelaide power at the MCG let's go I don't know whether it's habit just sentimental because my childhood home is just around the corner or whether it's just plain superstitious but I always park in Richmond when I go to the footy yes it's a 25 minute walk to the ground but uh, I do it all the time I think you get I think it takes away some of the uh, nervous energy as well before going uh, to the game but yeah I do that all the time Okay, here we are at the G. Not a big crowd today, as one, it's a bit wet and cold. Two, we're playing an interstate team. Uh, and three, we haven't been doing that well this year, so uh, not much of a crowd, but uh, hopefully it'll be a good football experience. And hope the Tigers win. Go Tigers. have a different perspective from the nosebleed section games not turning out the way would have hoped to it wasn't a very good first quarter scores 35 to 9 Port Adelaide 35 Richmond 9 
was much worse than that really uh, lots of mistakes bad football yeah, uh, I haven't seen us play this badly for a long time um, yeah, the, it was a miracle we were in it uh, for really the whole game but um, yeah, just stupid stupid errors uh, uh, from experienced players uh, uh, very disappointing something uh, to turn this around because uh, yeah there's a big slide we're going down at the moment time to head off hey tiger fans if you've stuck around this long do us a favor please hit that subscribe button if I can double my subscribers by the last week of the season I'll go to Port Adelaide and vlog the game. Uh, get me there, please. Now, coming up is my trip to Sydney to watch the Tigers play GWS. You'll enjoy this one. Early start today, as I have a flight to catch at 7 o'clock. Off to Sydney to watch the Mighty Tigers play the Greater Western Sydney Giants. Uh, leaving early on Saturday morning, arriving back late Sunday night. Just a quick trip this time. Car park absolutely full. Never seen it this full before, uh, but managed to get a spot. Now off to find the shuttle bus. Not the most pleasant of flights. Uh, firstly, a one hour delay on the tarmac at Melbourne. Uh, they said there was a heavy fog in Sydney. Uh, then we took off an hour late. And then when we got to Sydney, we had to get into a holding pattern for another 40 minutes. So instead of arriving at 10.25, got here at 10.15. in Sydney and that circular key. Now the last time I was here I got to climb the bridge. Uh, if you want to see that vlog just wait till the end and I'll, I'll link it up here. Central Station. Here is the room review. Uh, not the uh, nicest place I've ever stayed at, but I uh, suppose it'll do for the night. Um, double bed, single, um, little dining area, decent sized TV. A uh, strange little sink next to the bed um, and at least it's got an ensuite toilet and bathroom shower no sink obviously because it's around the corner yeah It'll have to do.
uh, decided to head down to the factory outlets now as the crow flies it's probably one kilometer from the markets but due to Sydney's crappy road network I actually have to walk just over three kilometers to get there uh, there's no direct route there because of main roads and no overpasses uh, yeah it's just um, not ideal but yeah more steps in I guess I found the overpass so that'll cut a little bit of time uh, that's this is why I couldn't get across quickly massive road but uh, luckily for me there was one there well, recently I've been reading Lee Child's Jack Reacher books now if you've read Jack Reacher books uh, he's a bit of a nomad vagabond call it what you will a little reference there for the Metallica fans um, yeah so think if he can do it I can do it <laughs> the only difference is his ex marine over six foot um, solid muscly uh, and in his 30s so yeah I sometimes <laughs> I sometimes have these grand plans and uh, pay for them later so yeah that's all right I only live once refueled at the DFO and uh, now making my way through the homebush precinct here um, it's a little village on its own or a little town on its own um, yeah, it's fairly fairly new and neat and around here which is great uh, almost at the stadium now this is the general admission area uh, apparently it's all allocated out just a scam in my opinion from the stadium in order to get people to go and purchase a reserve seat uh, at an extra cost. Shame. The curtain raiser saw both reserves teams battle it out in a close match. Here is the Richmond player kicking for goal after the siren for the win.
Okay, I uh, just realized that in my haste to uh, leave the stadium quickly and head towards the airport, I uh, didn't talk about the game. Um, obviously, uh, pleased with the result. We came away with a six-point win. Um, did get very uh, stressful there at the end. We were leading the whole game, but GWS hit back hard in the last quarter and they actually pinched the lead. Um, but we did manage to dig deep again at the end and uh, kick the last two goals of the game and uh, come away with the win. Um, I've been to that stadium uh, two previous times for uh, for two losses, so it was good to come away with the win. Um, it's about quarter past 11. Uh, it's been a whirlwind uh, 42 hours or so, uh, managed to see a little bit of uh, Sydney, uh, did a lot of walking, um, um, watched uh, an intense game of footy, um, but uh, uh, yeah, back home now. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. See you on my next adventure.